you tried this miracle eye treatment that went viral on the internet? What am I talking about? I'm talking about Peter Thomas Roth. Instant eye timer. What does it do? What's the targets? So it's immediately going to firm, smooth and tighten the eye area. What specific issues does it address? Everything you can think of to do with this delicate eye area which ages the first. So it addresses fine lines, deep wrinkles, eye bags, puffiness, crow's feet, dark circles, the lot, everything you can imagine. Is it a gimmick? Definitely not. I'm going to show you in this video today. How long does it take till it works? It takes three to seven minutes for you to look instantly 10 to 20 years younger. No joke. I'm going to prove it to you today. So first of all, how can an eye treatment transform this area in three to seven minutes? So this formula, first of all, is ophthalmologist tested, so it's safer around the eye area. And let's talk about the three key formulas that are in this miracle little product. The reason why I tell you about the ingredients right now is because I cannot talk when I demonstrate, so let's explain. First of all, number one, we have Firmatide, which is the trademark formula. We have a blend of three tightening silicates. I'm going to explain that. So we have sodium silicate, we have sodium magnesium fluorosilicate, we have magnesium aluminium silicate, and we also have seaweed extract. So what do these silica compounds do? So silica compounds are actually found in natural clays. And as the product dries, the silicate pulls the area around the skin giving a firming effect. The best way to explain this is think of when you've applied a, a clay facial mask and how it feels when it dries. It feels much tighter and firmer. That's what I'm talking about. Number two key formula is called Eyeless. That's also a trademark in their formula. What does this contain? This contains peptides which firm and smooth. We also have a special peptide called Dipeptide 2 which diminishes dark circles and puffiness. The third key formula within this eye tightener is called eye regenerate. It contains ascorbic acid, vitamin E, and vitamin B5. Ascorbic acid, as you know, vitamin C, boosts collagen production. Vitamin E soothes the skin, and vitamin B5 is also to prevent water loss, so it's also for dry skin under there. Also, it contains phenyl extract and alfalfa extract, which decongest for any puffiness and fluid under the eye. And we also have hydrolyzed lupin protein, which is an amino acid which firms the skin, reduces puffiness. So now we've got the formula out of the way. So today's video, I'm going to give you a 101 as usual. I'm going to show you how to use this, what makeup you should apply on top, how long did it last. I'm going to do a wear test and I'm going to show you throughout the day. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Well, a quick intro if you've never been here before. My name is Anne Britt. I'm a holistic and beauty therapist. I have been in the skincare beauty industry for 30 years. So if you would like skincare advice from somebody who is licensed and certified, please make sure to like and subscribe. With this, it has to be applied on a freshly cleansed face. Nothing on there whatsoever, well, around your eyes, right? So now here we come to this demo of this miracle eye cream that's going to take away wrinkles, puffiness, crow's feet, dark circles, everything you can imagine around the eye area within three to five minutes. So let me smile now because I can't later. So for me under here, I'm 52, so you know, right? So I do have wrinkles. I'm not some teeny bopper um, making a video here, but... Crow's feet I really don't have unless mm, a smile, it's not evident, but I do have lines down here, I am losing elasticity, I am 52 after all. So first of all, we can either apply this with the finger or we can apply it with a makeup brush. Now they do say to let it dry down and then apply your eye cream, but I have tried mixing it, and then they said another tip was to mix it with your eye cream. I tried that and then I tried to apply concealer on top, forget it, because it all went crusty and horrible, so I definitely do not advise you to mix it with your eye cream. So however, let's get on with it. So mix it up, shake it well, put a pea drop amount on your palm there, well on your hand, sorry. <laughs> Remember, you cannot smile, <laughs> you cannot squint, nothing. You have to remain expressionless for three to five minutes for the magic to happen. So I'm going to apply it with the brush here, around, and upward stroke.
So da da, look at that. Within three minutes, my wrinkles are gone. Now, to put it on with a makeup brush, because I've read plenty of reviews on this, sometimes people get white residue, and then what you would do is go around the edge with a cotton Q-tip, just with a bit of water, and just remove that. But as you can see with a makeup brush, because you're applying it a bit thinner, and it, you know, it's not going to do that. So I would definitely say it's a better way to apply it. I don't have any residue here whatsoever. Now, now that I'm 20 years younger under here, see I don't look my dark shadows are not as evident. Crow's feet, I didn't really have to be, but the main thing for me is the wrinkles under here are gone. But, will it stand up to concealer? Now, I'm going to use Laura Mercier, if that's the right way I'm saying it, Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. Duo. Now, the reason I'm using this in a stick form is because that's the only drawback with this miracle eye cream, eye gel, whatever you want to call it, tightener, eye tightener, is because you cannot use water-based makeup. Now, as we know, you know, when you're getting on, like, you really want to be using concealer that is normally water-based, it's hydrating, but this Laurier Mercier pen here is actually formulated for us older girls. It doesn't sit in your wrinkles. This is an excellent eye cream, but I want to see if this is going to sit properly on top of here. Now I know that putting eye cream on and then makeup, because you're meant to let this dry down, then you can apply your eye cream, they say, and then your makeup, but I have tried and it all goes crusty and gathers, so no. I definitely am not going to do that. So I just want to see if this, this is what I would normally use anyway. Sometimes I use my other concealer, but I can't be this because it's water-based. So anyway, let's see with this how it's gonna go. Now I did think because this concealer is in a stick form, it would work, but it doesn't because like it looks all dry here and yuck. So the next solution, maybe just a powder foundation would work. I'll be back. So as you can see, that is the issue with what you apply on top of this amazing eye gel that's going to take away all the wrinkles, but yes, it's the issue is the makeup. So what I tried off camera, is I'm just going to show you, this is a Guerlain powder foundation. Because I was coming to the conclusion, anything liquid or cream or anything I'm putting on top of this is just not cutting it. Let me show you what I did is just taps on lightly obviously I'll do the rest of my face but this is the only thing that seems to be working that's not counteracting what you're trying to hide because with the liquid or any concealer I was trying it was going all crusty and, and crackly <laughs> so let me show you this close up. Obviously I would have to put um, this on the rest of my face but I would need to moisturise around here first. So as you can see that looks nice and smooth. It's not like when I put the concealer on it was all crackling and going crusty and horrible looking around with. Um, if you were going to, I will try an eye cream over it but I reckon you would need to wait quite a while like maybe I don't know, 30, 40 minutes, and who's got time for that in the morning if you're getting ready for work? So I would definitely say tap on a light powder foundation because if you're like me and you wear eye makeup, well, you need something surrounding it, you know what I mean, um, to hold your makeup also. Um, so definitely that works, a powder foundation. But I will go and moisturise, put on the rest of this Guerlain powder foundation and the rest of my makeup and then I will do check-ins you know what's it like after a couple of hours what's it like after a full day of wearing it and I will be back
Okay, so here I am doing my first check-in and it's been on now for four hours. I'm out on my lunch break and I'm showing you in bright sunlight. That's it underneath. It seems to be wearing well and we will check back in at the end of the day. So now it's 5.20, finish the day at work. Let's have a look outside. So as you can see, there's a couple of lines there came through and one here. But that's not bad considering it was, uh, what, 8.15 this morning? This went on. So, yeah, it lasts all day. The wrinkles have not showed up too much till I get home. So let me show you the texture of close up of this amazing eye cream. So it's just like a gel formula. So let's address the price and packaging. Now I bought the 15ml which is $24 and it also comes in a 30ml size which is $38. This is the packaging. You can see the before, after, before, after, before, and after. So now that I've took you through my day, let me give you my review on this Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firmex Temporary Eye Tightener. Is it worth it? Definitely. I felt not 10 years younger, but 20 years younger going to work today. Talk about the pros and the cons, okay? So definitely it's worth the money. It definitely works. It's not a gimmick. What you've seen on the internet is for real. It instantly makes you look younger under here. But the only drawback is you cannot use water-based makeup on top of it. So as you've seen with the video, I had a struggle. So normally I would use, for concealer, I would either use True Match from L'Oreal, which is water-based concealer, or I would use the Laura Mercier um, camouflage pen. Now, that's the only drawback is I felt the only way that I could make this work was using a powder foundation. So my tips for you ladies like that are mature like me, just make sure when you're using a powder foundation that you first tap it on top and then you can start smoothing over and do it lightly. Just the same as the application of this, it's all in the application. Make sure you're applying it thinly and you will not have that white residue. Make sure it really dries down before you apply any makeup on top. Now if you're scared of powder foundation because we, we do get scared of it as we mature but there is powder foundations that are specially formulated for mature skin. I use Guerlain but there's also Makeup Forever makes a good one, Shiseido, Lancome so please don't think there's no choice but with me recording this video while I was going to work and I did it in reverse to show you guys the full process um, I will definitely try this in a couple of days, let it dry down um, for half an hour for example, then I'll see if my eye cream will apply on top and then makeup. I will leave a pinned comment once I try that, but I must be off work to try that. I am not going out and you know then it looks all crazy underneath. So I will do that for you guys. So I would definitely say yes for sure, it's worth the money and you're going to look amazing under here. now. If, you know, the, that was the only drawback also is I felt like I couldn't apply my eye cream. But as I say, I will, this is a product you definitely have to play around with. And I will try and then pin a comment when I, when I get my findings. So that is my review of this miracle eye product. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. And I will say adios over and out. And I will see you again soon in the next skincare video. Thank you for watching. Bye.